Hi everyone, how are you? Mr. Zaki with you. We explain in here, Mohiba level three, math section and verbal section. We have in math section rules, strategies and test. So we first here in uh, rules, uh, we review about rules, maybe you know, because you are in grade nine and grade 10. So you know everything about um, and mathematics. Okay, the first one, A multiply B plus C. What is the meaning here? If I have here, if I have here A, here production, A time A, A time B, and A time C, so we distribute multiplication to the to addition. A time B, is, it is AB, and A time C, it is AC. Like here, if I have X is three plus Y, how I distribute this problem? So you multiply X times three, it is what? Can you write it? X multiply three, it is what? It is what? It is three X, right? Then if I multiply X times Y equals X Y. Do you see? Okay, this about it is easy, I think, for you. If I multiply A times one over A, you can simplify A and A, then will be here when and when time a when equals what equals when. If A equals B, then AC equals BC. If I suppose that's A equals B, then I multiply it in any constant numbers or variable, variable uh, or variable, so that's the same equals. The equation will be the same. A plus C equals B plus C, then you can simplify C and C, then A equals B. You see, if I have X plus C3, then Y plus C3, you can simplify the same number here because we have plus C3 and here plus C3, you simplify it, then the result will be X equals Y. You see? Now, if I have two fractions in addition or uh, subtraction, you must, will be the denominator the same. If you have the same denominator, then you can add the fraction. But if the denominator is different, you must will be the same denominator to add or to subtract. If I have two over three plus one over three. Here I have two fractions. If I add two fractions, I see the denominator. Is it the same? Is three and the three? Yes. If they're the same, then you can add the numerator, two plus one equals three, then put it here, a three. A three divided three equals one, right? And if, if, if it is different, three over five plus one over three, how I get this answer? Is it the denominator the same? No. So I put it this, the denominator the same. How I, uh, what I will do? If I have two over five plus one over three, then put it the same. You multiply here by three. Also the numerator, the numerator is multiplied by three. Here you multiply five and the numerator multiply five. So 
you get now the answer. Two times three equals six over five times three equals 15 plus also one time five equals five over three times five equals 15. So now the denominator, the, the, uh, the denominator or uh, denominator, it is the same. So you can add the fraction. Six plus five equals what? Equals 11 over what? Over 15. Do you understand these problems? Do you understand my student? Right. Yes. If I have a subtraction, another question, because addition and subtraction are the same. If the denominator is the same, you can add or you can subtract. Okay, I have problems, new problems. I want to solve this problem. If I have two over three, minus one over two, what I will do? Okay, can you solve it, this problem? Who solve, who, who, want, he, who want to solve this problem? Because you have a pin now. Do you have a pin? Do you have a pin? Okay, I give you a pin now. I give you a pin. So who write the, who solve this problem? My student. How I solve this problems? Yes, you must first put it the same denominator here. You multiply here by two, and also the numerator, the numerator it's right two. Then you multiply it here, three, and multiply here three. Yes, I know. Two times two equals four, and three times two equals six, minus one times three equals three, then two times three equals six. Then you can subtract. Hello, Fatima Al Yusuf. Hello, you are welcome. So four minus three equals one, and put it this the same. If you have different in the denominator, you must be the same in addition and subtraction. You know, do you understand me? Is it clear the problems? Is it clear? All right, good. Good, Ms. Zainab. What about else? Okay. Right. That's we finish now, addition and subtraction. We will go to the uh, multiplication. How I, I do it in the multiplication. If I have, if two over a three, multiply by one over five. If you have two fraction and you multiply it two over three times one over five, you have two ways. The first way to simplify between the up and the uh, down. Down and up. First from down and when of, uh, on the up, you simplify if you have simplified. If you don't have simplifying in the problems, you multiply directly. Two times one and three times five. Two times one equals two, and three times five equals 15. You see? Okay, I have another problem. If I have three over uh, 15, multiply by five over six. Okay, first, you simplify to be easy the problems when you multiply it. 
Okay, now I, I multiply here, three times five and 15 times six, maybe it is, uh, yeah, maybe it is big numbers. So three over 15 times five over six, you simplify it. You simplify divided by three equals one, and six divided by three equals two. Also another five divided by five equals one, and 15 divided by five equals three. So now the problems, it is easy. Because now you can uh, get the answer one time one equals one, and the three times two equals six. So the answer it is, is what? The answer is what? Is one over six, right? Fatima Al-Sheikh, where are you? I don't know. Maybe here internet, I don't know. Okay, now the answer is one over six. Do you understand these problems? Oh, kick it out. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay, now I have another, I have problems. I want to solve this problem. Okay. If you, uh, you have a note or uh, in the screen. I give you now a problems. Now we want to solve. If I have now seven over 20 time 15 of our 28. We want to solve this problem. Okay. Now I uh, will be stop the recording. How I solve this problems? Because I have here 20, seven over 20 times 15 over 28, then you see what is how I simplify the problems. You divide it here by seven, seven divided seven equals one. 28 divided uh, seven equals what? Equal to four, right? Rened, uh, Rend Al Ghanim, are you with me? Then here also divided by four, 15 divided by four equals three. 20 divided by four equals what? Yes, equals four. I want everyone here, the attention. One time three equals three and four times four equals 16. So the answer is three over 16. Do you understand? My student, do you understand how to solve a uh, uh, fraction production? Production of fraction? Okay, I give you now another questions to understand how to solve production. First, simplify, then go to, uh, to get the answer. Okay, now I have another problems. What is it also here, Fatima Al Hashim or Fatima Al Sheikh? Maybe then it is weak. Okay, now I have problems. I have five over 12 time six over 30 or over 20, not 30, yes, 35, 35. Now I have another problems, okay. Can you solve the problems? Okay, help me, who, he, who want to solve these problems? How I solve this problem? Also, you simplify. If you have simplifying between the up and down, you can do it. Divide it here by five equals one, and divide it here by five equals seven. 
also six between six and 12 divided here by six equals one and 12 divided by six equals two. Then you can multiply one time one equals one and two times seven equals 14, right? So Fatima Al Hashim, you get the answer here. You said three over 45 or 42. You uh, be careful. Because if we divide it here by five equals one, 35 divided by five equals seven. Also here, then you multiply one time one equals one and two times seven equals 14. Then the answer, yes, you can write the three over 42. Yes, that is the same, but when you simplify more, then you uh, simplify divided by three equals one over 40. You see? Okay, now we will go to the division. How I divided between two fractions? If I have two fraction, one over two divided by three over eight, we don't we we uh, don't need uh, the the same denominator or denominator the same the denominator we don't we don't need the same. We if we have division. If we, or if we have a division, you change to, uh, to multiplication. You have this sign, you must change it to multiplication. How? You write this, the first one, the same, one over two, then division equals multiplication, about three over eight, then you change it. As you write eight over what? Over three. You see? This you change. Why? Because we change division to multiplication. Then this is a problem, the same before. You simplify first, then you multiply, multiply direct. Divided by two equals one. Here, divided by two equals four, right? Then one and three, we don't have simplify. Then you uh, multiply direct, one time four equals four, then one time three equals three. So the answer is four over three. Maybe in uh, an exam, we don't have the same answer here. You change to another answer, four over three, that's the same as one over one over three. How? Because we, when you multiply three times one equals three and plus one, it is the same four over three. Maybe you get the same answer here, four over three, or another answer when, this one integer and one over three fraction. How I change it from four over three to one, one over three, that's, I ask me how many four, how many three in four, how many three in fours, it is one, only one times. So I write one over one over three, you see? Maybe you get this answer or the same answer here. Okay, I give you now a problems. I want to solve the problems. If I have two over six divided by one over 10 or three, no, five over 10, five over 10. How I uh, do it these problems. I want to help me to solve this problem. Okay, I have a division, then I want to solve. Okay, now try it to solve the problems now, my student. 
Okay, thank you, Mask, for solving this problems. Two over six divided five over ten. You change division to multiplication. So, so you write two over six multiply. You change here from you change the fraction here from ten to uh, put it up and five put it down because you change the uh, the sign. So division to multiplication. So you put it 10 over five, then you see you can simplify if you have simplifying. Divided by three, by two, it is a three. 10 divided by two, it is five. Then you multiply two times five equals 10, and the three times five equals 15. You are right, Misk. Thank you very much. Do you understand? Do you understand? Everyone, do you understand the problem? My addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. Do you understand? Right, good. Okay, now we will go to another. Uh, if I have X here, if I have the problems, X minus A times X minus B. If you see the same here, ax and x, a and minus, that's x times x, minus a minus b, that's different. You can uh, multiplication, x times x equal to x square, x times b equals minus b, minus bx, and minus a, we we'll multiply it by x, minus a multiply it minus b equals the same. Okay, I, now if I give you a problem, look here. If I have x minus three time x minus four, how I get the answer for multiplying here? You multiply x times x equals what? x square, right? Then x times minus four equals minus four x, right? And minus three times x equals minus three x. Also minus three times minus four equals plus 12. Okay, so now x squared Minus four minus three equals minus seven x or plus a 12. So I get the answer. Multiplying x minus three times x minus four. Yeah, x times x, x squared. X times minus four minus four x. Minus three times x minus three x or plus a 12. So I have another way to uh, simplify a you know, uh, short solution, can you do it like this? X times X equals X square. Then you add, okay, sorry, here square. Then you add minus three and minus four. When you add minus three minus four equals minus seven X, you put it here. And you multiply it, minus three times minus four equals plus 12. So you get it the same. You get it the same, the same answer. You get it the same answer, right? Good. Fatima al-Sheikh, what's your problem? Do you have a problem? الله يساعدك ان شاء الله بس لازم روحي على يا تشغليها على شريحة يا تشغليها على النت حقة البيت اذا كان النت البيت ما في ابراج ضعيف عليه اذا وجدنا الناتج له الريزالت x square minus 7 x plus 12 right good also another one do you understand these problems do you understand these problems my student how to multiply two brackets? Hello, where are you? Are you with me? 
Yeah, do you understand? Right, thank you, Fatima al Sheikh. Ms. Al Jawad. Yes, yes, thank you, Fatima al Sheikh. Good. So when you multiply two brackets like this, you have two ways. x minus 3, x minus 4, you multiply x times x equals x squared, and you add minus 3 minus 4 equals minus 7x, and you multiply it minus 3 minus 4 equals plus 12. Right? Good. I give you an example. If I have x minus 4, multiply x plus 5, what is the answer? If you multiply it to brackets, what is the answer here? Okay, can you? Can you do these problems? Can you do these problems? Okay, I want to solve now. We can solve these problems by two ways. The first way is uh, it is short way. How I solve the problems? like this, you can multiply x times x equals x squared, right? Then you add minus four plus four plus five equals what? Equal to one, and write it here x. Minus four times plus five equals minus 20. That is the same, this short answer. Right? If I want to solve by another way, show a long, long way, okay, I multiply it, separate it, separate x times x equal to x squared, then x times 5 equals 5x, five right? Then minus four times x equals minus four x, and minus four times five equals minus 20. Then you write x squared, five minus four equal to x minus a 20. That is the same here, I multi multiply it, okay? We have also the rules here. Did you take it this rule before? Because you are in grade nine, I think you take it this rule. You see, a plus or minus b to the power two equals a square plus or minus two a b plus b square. Did you take it before this rules? My student, because I have a rules this, that's important. Also here, I have a rules A plus B, A minus B. If you have the same, you multiply it. A times A equals A squared. B times minus B equals minus B squared directly. Did you take it before? Did you see these rules before? My student, hello, are you with me? Can you write something? Oh, you don't take it. I think in grade eight, you take it this rules. Because you are in international school, maybe in grade eight, I think you get it. A plus minus B to the power square you have because you have two brackets, you multiply it the same. A plus B, A minus B, it is important to know because we use it here. If I have X minus four, then X plus four, that's the same, the same number. Now you multiply it, x times x equals Fatima what? x squared, right? Minus times plus equals minus, four times four equals 16. So directly you get the answer because the same brackets are the same numbers, right? 
You see? Right, good. So the answer is X squared minus 16. Okay, now we will go to the questions now. We will go to the questions. What about the last one? The last one here, here, if you multiply it by negative, you change the sign. A less than B, when you multiply it by negative, it is minus A greater minus B. You change the sign. Do you see? Okay. Thank you, my student. I am happy to teach you. Uh, you are welcome and good luck. Good luck, Mr. Zaki, with you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.